Aromatic herbs have always been present throughout my life and I believe that aromatic herbs are the most traditional and ancestral medicine that gives us healing and wellness, I think that many of us do not know all the power and all the properties that plants have, many of our traditional medicines are made from plants and the essence is here, in the plants that we produce, that are fresh that we transform them and it is very important that we all know a little of our Colombian herbs and some that have also been introduced and the well-being and the transformation that they can generate in our being and in our health. comenzó como, un, como una experiencia de transformar un, un territorio netamente ganado. Swaga began as an experience of transforming a purely livestock territory towards an organic production, in this case of herbs, which was the inspiration that Alejandro, our manager, had, then he wanted to see how organic herbs worked and came advancing in all certification processes in order to have a high quality product that we could offer to the international market and the domestic market. The key to success in Swaga I think it is the love for the land and wanting to do different things in the territory that has been purely livestock, because we sought to create a different type of production, move towards the organic theme that is so complex but that has been done with the collaboration of all the labor, rural women who work with us, rural youth because it is a very manual work, is a work done with great dedication, is a job where, let's say that plants appreciate the affection with which they are treated and that is why we give these wonderful products. I think it has been persistence that has allowed us to reach what we are today in Swaga Organic and the desire to bring this product to an optimal level of quality for international customers which is a strong market in which fresh herbs are very well liked and we are growing and expanding the domestic market with our production. It has been a process of 19 years of work where everything began in a very small way and was projecting the growth of the crop that you are now and you are seeing all the development, have been including new varieties, looking which ones were much better suited to these lands and finding and as a line of marketing both for international customers, as for the domestic market. At the export level we have 95% of the production for sale abroad, the most representative varieties for foreign sales are chives, mint, rosemary, thyme, oregano and marjoram, they are the most, the largest in volume and because of the demand in the US, at the national level we are making inroads, not so much in the fresh product. because there is still no culture or awareness of organic. But we have done very well with the issue of essential oils, dehydrated herbs, the hydrolats that are more at the national level because we have them as physiotherapeutic, more gourmet. Here they really like calendula, dehydrated basil, dehydrated thyme, dehydrated lemongrass. Well, the consumption of aromatic herbs abroad is very wide, yes. 
So, we grow today, tomorrow the flight leaves, the product lasts on the shelf, in the US, only 3 or 4 days, because on the third day we have to send another shipment, so the shelf life of the aromatic herbs can last up to 15 days, in good conservation without breaking the cold chain, but the consumption is going to be much faster. The differentiating strategy is, then, the certifications that have Swaga organic crops, this makes us different from other types of production, why, for all the processes of traceability and safety that are performed throughout the process for obtaining our herbs. International equality is seen through certifications, maintaining them requires a lot of dedication, it is complex but has been doing very well over the years and has allowed us to enter different markets and here the domestic market is a market that has understood that organic production is important and that consuming food produced organically generate welfare that we want to offer our customers from Swaga. We have our future projection is to finish planting a new farm that we have, there are 22 bushels for production both nationally and for export. We are entering new markets here in Colombia, we are entering the Exido, Walk, chain supermarkets, nationally. As to also encourage the culture of organic, yes. Because many times the Colombian person goes to the corner store and does not care if it is organic or not. But day after day we are cultivating and sowing that culture of organic because what? We are selling is welfare for each of the consumers. With Germany we had a problem because the product had to make a stopover in Spain and the cold chain was broken a lot, when the product reached the final consumer, it already had quality problems, yellowing, but it was because of this whole issue of the breakage of the cold chain, it is evident because the flight agencies do not pay enough attention, they do not give the importance that should have the production of organic aromatic, because the volume is not as large as other products at the national level, for them do not have the relevance or importance it should have, one of the solutions would be to really give them the importance they should have each of the products, whether fruits, vegetables, vegetables or in our case the aromatic. More nationally, we can sell a citron plant with dehydrated blackberry and dehydrated papuela, yes which is the typical aromatic of Colombia, we also have a lemon balm that is more for a natural tranquilizer, a lemongrass, which is a natural sweetener, we could stop consuming sugar with an extract or a lemongrass plant, medicinal plants like pennyroyal for children's coughs, many people consume it with hot milk and pennyroyal for children's coughs. Each one of your plants has a reason to be, calendula for swelling, inflammation, all the plants have a reason to live here in Svaha. It arrives from cultivation, it arrives weighed, it comes with its traceability, the operator cut the bed, they register it in the records, they put it in the cold room to lower the temperature, 
it is left for a while, I take it out to process according to what it is, first the chives, which is the first thing that is processed, I take it out here, they start to process, I start here, well, they start here, then I check the quality, the quality is that it has closed tips, that it doesn't have, weeds, yellows, and the pounds are 450, then they get a yield, a yield that I write down how many pounds they make per hour, maybe the most they make, maybe 8 and so on, then I also organize for the clients according to the quantities, for example for one they make 14, for another they make 15, then I organize and divide the products for each client. They send me a database, in one notebook, for example Mr. and in another because Fliesmas, then I put aside, for example, there are three boxes of chives, then I put aside the ones from Fliesmas, I put them aside there, Mr., according to the quantities that sometimes go higher for one than for the other. There they are tied in tobacco, it goes, for example, the chives go in 14, then 14 pounds are well arranged in their tobacco, that takes gels, then that is the chives, the time, that goes in 15, also goes in their tobacco well arranged, well organized so that the product is well organized, here they process chives, thyme, marjoram, oregano, mint, cilantro, parsley. Within the other lines of business we are taking advantage of all the derivatives that we can obtain from our plants and among them are essential oils and hydrolates and other wellness products that are being developed, also through a process of research, testing, because we know that they are already more consumer products. We are in the area of oils, we are going to make an oil or a process of time, we already have the pot full, then we have the equipment, let's wait for the spark to learn and here it has water up to a certain level to generate steam and that steam is what is going to help us to obtain the oil and the hydrolat. We cover our pot where we have the product and we are going to seal it so that the steam does not come out, if not remain and can get all the extract of the plant. Here we are in the dehydrated area, as you can see the girls are preparing the product or the variety that we are going to dehydrate, in this case we have the lemon grass, we depend on what variety we are going to treat, the product, because there is one that is placed whole there is another that we have to chop it, then, the next thing we do already, when they have the product ready, is to weigh it, arrange it in the trays and then take it to the dehydrator, this weight is recorded to know how much dehydrated we will get from that fresh. Already after having our tray full we have to arrange it in the dehydrator, this dehydrator has a capacity of 12 trays. This equipment works with air, this works through gas, the gas is what will give us the heat, electricity is what will give us, we will generate the air to dehydrate, then the ignition of the oven is always automatic, 
we set the time, when it reaches a certain temperature then the gas is turned off or the fire that generates heat and this is the turbine, ready. Aromatic herbs have always been present throughout my life and I believe that aromatic herbs are the most traditional and ancestral medicine that gives us healing and wellness, I think many of us do not know all the power and all the properties that plants have, many of our traditional medicines are made from plants and the essence is here, in the plants that we produce, that are fresh, that we transform them and it is very important that we all know a little bit like this Vedimikam of ours. Colombian herbs and some that have also been introduced and of the well-being and the transformation that they can generate in our being and in our health. The logistics, then, is a logistics of conservation so that the products arrive in optimal quality to the final consumer, in the case of fresh products, then, the load is mobilized in vehicles adapted with thermoking, which allow the conservation of the product in the appropriate temperatures so that it is transferred then and then it is received abroad in the best conditions. In the domestic market the same distribution is done in fresh, through these vehicles and the dehydrated product is a product that carries a hermetic and sealed packaging that allows the preservation of the product and that reaches the best way to our final consumer. We have also been taking advantage of our plants for the production of essential oils, which are used in therapeutic, alternative treatments and in the whole issue of functional medicine, we produce rosemary oils, lemongrass oils, oregano, thyme, lavender, and from obtaining our oils, we also obtain herbal waters that we are currently commercializing with the cosmetic sector, which use them as a base for the elaboration of their products. Well, I invite all producers of aromatic herbs in the Department of Cundinamarca and Colombia, to move forward in a much cleaner production, much more organic, using new ways of working the land and how this generates welfare and makes a differential in the products that we are bringing to our consumers and also how this type of production helps us to expand our markets allows us to see the possibility of exporting our products and that they see in other parts of the world the quality of what is done and what is worked with the land in Colombia. Well, it was a research work, searching for customers, markets, testing with our samples and see that they could see the quality of the product, is to begin to make the whole issue of logistics within the company to bring a high quality product to the end customer abroad and here in Colombia, well, we are looking for business partnerships with niche markets where the main thing is to offer high quality organic products and generate welfare, perhaps the most important thing I can tell you is. That what we want to sell and market is welfare, more than a product, is the welfare provided by our products.